All of the addition reactions studied so far have involved the alkene reacting with a stoichiometric amount of a reagent to produce a saturated addition product. In this polymerization reaction, a small amount of peroxide is added to a large amount of alkene, which forces the radicals produced to react only with alkene molecules. This results in very large molecules containing many units of the original monomer. In this overall process, the possibilities are limited. All that is present in the reaction mixture is a small amount of peroxide and a lot of alkene. When the mixture is heated up, the peroxide is broken into hydroxide radicals, which are then very, very unstable. The hydroxy radicals then react with an alkene molecule in a propagation step to form a carbon-oxygen bond and a carbon-based radical. The carbon radical finds an alkene molecule to react with, which begins the iterative process of polymerization. Peroxides are unstable due to their weak oxygen-oxygen bond, so when they are heated up, they undergo homolytic cleavage and break into two reactive hydroxy radicals that then need to find something to add to. Since there is a very low concentration of hydroxy radicals and a very high concentration of alkene molecules, the radicals will add to the pi bond of an alkene and form a stable carbon-to-oxygen single bond. The third electron from the pi cloud is then transferred to the other carbon of the double bond. The new radical is then limited in its options, so addition to a second molecule of alkene occurs and the chain begins to grow through a propagation step. This process will continue until all of the alkene is consumed or termination events occur to quench the radicals present. If enough propagation events are able to happen, a very long polymeric chain is formed that features the bulk properties of the organic backbone. In summary, the treatment of an alkene with a radical initiator such as a peroxide will produce a polymeric material through a free radical chain process. Since a sub-stoichiometric amount of initiator is used, the polymer will possess the bulk properties of the carbon framework and its substituents.